Game on Media is about to play on the clock with Stephen Moyer, who plays for the Centurion Rugby Club in the Colton Cup in Pretoria. Stephen, are you ready? Ready. All right, let's, let's talk a little bit about rugby first. How did you get involved in rugby? Uh, I only started playing rugby in high school when I uh, attended Pretoria Boys. Um, I started playing in the under-14Es and Fs, so I had no idea what I was doing. Um, fortunately, skills developed and ended up playing first team and, and yeah. Who's your rugby hero? Um, I would say from a from a personality point of view, probably Rich McCall. His um, his dedication and his his leadership ability is second to none. Um, but uh, from a playing perspective, um, probably Daniel Carter, Steve Larkham. Your rugby mentor, who has helped you along your career? Um, I've been fortunate to have a few um, a few really good coaches along the way. Um, my current coach is uh, the Centurion Rian Brandt is someone that really instilled confidence in me. He's um, he's someone that's really helped me grow and develop as a player uh, on and off the field. Um, puts a human who is currently involved with the Bulls. He's um, one of the best tactical coaches I've ever had and uh, just a wonderful man. So um, I'd say from a coaching perspective, probably those two. Um, and then from school, you know, we're very fortunate. Paul Anthony, um, who successfully coached Boys High for, for many years and now he's at the Sharks. Um, he obviously, you know, inspired us all as Boys High Boys to uh, to take rugby on as best as we can. And yeah, so he's, he's also a big inspiration. Your worst rugby injury? Fortunately, I've been quite lucky, um, but the, probably my worst injury would be a, a torn a torn groin in the adductor. That was uh, yeah, not fun. Your most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you at a rugby field? Um, probably probably missing a kick right in front of the poles. I kicked it under the poles. <laughs> it was a shocker. Stephen, let's get a little bit more personal. Your favourite school subject? Favorite school subject would would probably I would say probably English. Your favorite <clears throat> quote? My favorite quote. Um, I'd have to say E. E. Cummings. Trust your heart. If the seas catch fire, live by love, and the stars walk backwards. Your favorite movie? Favorite movie would probably be Shawshank Redemption. Your favorite thing to do outside of playing rugby? Um, outside of rugby, I'm a, I'm a keen golfer. I, um, I really enjoy playing golf and uh, I've actually just picked up mountain biking. So, golf and mountain biking. Your favorite holiday destination? Uh, in South Africa, probably George Wilderness, Meisner, that area. Um, Garden Route's really special. We've got some, some very fond memories there. Um, and then I've been fortunate to, to travel a fair bit, which is, which is yeah, really cool. Um, Australia was a was a really really special place. Um, thoroughly enjoyed my time there. If you could change anything in the world right now, what would you do and why? If I could change anything in the world right now, um, <clears throat> that's a tough question. Uh, obviously, a lot needs changing, but I I think in South Africa in particular, I'd like to see um, I'd like to see people being treated more equally. Um, I think there's still a lot of racial tension, which is very unfortunate. I think that's something that I hope can be addressed in the future and, and those barriers can be brought down. I think um, there's no reason we can't all live and love together. All right, as we end off, I'm going to throw you a curveball. If you were to have a child right now, boy or girl, what would you name them? If I'd have a boy right now, his name would be Luke. If I had a girl right now, her name would be Paige. Gabon, thanks you for playing. On the clock with us, Stephen. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me.